Hey guys, it's Justine, but you can call me Blondie, and today's video is just going to be super casual. It is 12, 12, 24 at night, um, and both my kids are asleep, but um, my son just got his Scholastic book order in today, and I really just want to haul these books so I can stop having to worry about it, and I can let them get mixed in with all of our other books. Um, so yeah, so, uh, so here is all of them. And um, I've done several Scholastic book hauls in the past. This one is very Halloween and fall themed. I did one like this last year about the same time of year. It was very like Halloween and fall themed. I've also done them, I think I did like three or four last year in total. So I will link all of them down below. But I think they're a lot of fun. Um, if you have a child who gets Scholastic books, I highly recommend you look into ordering through their school because most of the books that I got here were a dollar. I got eight books. Actually, let me look at my receipt. Okay, I paid $14.25 for eight books. And most of the books were either one or two dollars. One book was three dollars. And oh, I'm surprised I spent three dollars on that book. Um, but I'll show you which one it is in just a second. Um, so first, I just wanted to show you this one. If, if you watched my vlog like two vlogs ago, you've probably already seen it. But I got room on the broom, but I got this at Walmart. This was six dollars compared to all the rest of the books right here, which were like one to three dollars. Um, but I got this because my son and I watched the like book or oh my gosh, can you tell that it's like midnight? My son and I watched the movie um, Room on the Broom a couple weeks ago and we really liked it and so I wanted to get the book um, that the movie was inspired by so um, I picked that up from Walmart and now the rest of these are from Scholastic so this book was two dollars and 25 cents it is Miss Mary is scary um, and it is from like the my weird school days collection my son has another book from this collection and he loves them he's in kindergarten so he's too um, little to like he can't read them by himself yet because it's just the words are too small there's too many um, like he's still learning how to read you guys know but he loves when I read these books to him and I I because he got the other book that we have of this collection as a gift and when I started reading it to him I wasn't sure if he would like it or if he would really follow along because there are some pictures but it's like um you know it's like one of those kid chapter books where there's like a picture or two per chapter and then um most of the pages are like pictureless but he really really loved um the first book he was it was really easy for him to follow along and I feel like this series is going to be to him like what Juna B. Jones was for me and even the way it's written it actually kind of reminds me a lot of Juna B. Jones um so now that I know how much he likes them I'm definitely going to be purchasing more from this series when he saw the books that we had bought from Scholastic Books, he asked like right away if we could read this one tonight. So as you can tell, we already have like a little bookmark in there because we read the first couple of chapters tonight before he went to bed. But um, he really loves these. So if you have like a child that's like kindergarten, first grade age, um, these are a really good book to kind of like get them into chapter books. And so that's a really good one. And then... Here's Charlotte's Web. This was only a dollar. Um, I remember reading this as a kid and I was like, my son, I mean, he might actually like it because he is really into animals and especially insects and bugs and stuff. So he might like it, but I feel like this might be a little more mature for him. Um, but I guess we'll find out. But I was like, you know what? Scholastic is selling it for only a dollar right now. I'm going to buy it now um, in case like they ever decide to pump up the price. So we have Charlotte's Web now. And then this was another book that was only a dollar and I remember, I don't remember reading this book as a kid, but I think we had it um, when I was a kid. But this is Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. Um, and it just looks like this. This was another one that was a dollar. Did I already say that? Yeah, like these pictures look so familiar, but I don't have like any memories of actually reading it, but it just looks so familiar. So I saw it. I saw that it was a dollar. Um, I like reading my son because there's so many books 
uh, like when you when I go through the Scholastic book catalog and you're gonna see some in a few but there's so many books that are like new and they just like don't really stick out to me very much and I they look very generic and then there's books like these and I feel like you know that was a book that was probably on display at my library um I feel like it's a book that everybody knows about it's like a classic you know so um when was it written 1972 so yeah I just feel like you know we need some like this in our collection and we actually get like a lot of hand-me-down books because like we have a lot of family members and friends who are teachers and I really like reading like older books um, to my son not just all the new releases so here's an example of a new release so this is called Little Boo um, how much was this one this one was two dollars but it was so it looks so cute it's like a little pumpkin seed and like you can just see all the different ways um the pumpkin grows and it's just it's so cute um and i feel like this book is really sleek i don't know what it is about like the cover and stuff it's really sleek um i think all the books or at least most of the books um through scholastic are paperback so if you prefer hardcover i don't really have a preference um, but if you prefer hardcover, just know that most of them are paperback. And then we have Splat the Cat and the Pumpkin Picking Plan. We have a couple Splat the Cat books. They're not my favorite, but my kids really enjoy them. Um, there's like, there's so many series these days. I feel like, um, when I was a kid, we had like the Berenstein Bears and Franklin and like Clifford the Big, the Big Red Dog. And there was like, there was only a few series, like Curious George, and now there's so many, like I can't keep track. But we have Splat the Cat and the Pumpkin Picking Plan. And so um, my kids will like that one because they love all the Splat the Cat books. And this one was $2.00. And then we have Hedgehogs, and this was the $3 book. I'm surprised I ordered this if it was $3. I mean, it does look really cute, but it's called Hedgehogs, Autumn Hide and Squeak. And so I don't really know anything about this um, other than the illustrations and the cover look really cute, and it says Hedgehogs instead of Hedgehogs. So um, that's another one that we picked up. And then we have We Are Going on a Leaf Hunt. I just thought this was a cute one for fall. Um, this one was $1. Okay, so this one was $1. And it just looks like a cute book. Which, by the way, like, you know how, um, like, teachers will send the scholastic book forms to you you can order online and when you order online you can order more than what's on like the form for your class like so for example like if i wanted to order like harry potter or twilight books i could order them put them on um in my cart online and then they'd send them to my son's class even though my son gets like we get the kindergarten book order forms and we get the paper forms and so on those forms you can only order like what's on the actual form this isn't going to make sense unless you know what i'm talking about but um when you go online you can order more than what's just on the form for your particular child's age so um yeah and i'm pretty sure the charlotte's web was not in his uh book catalog but you can order it on the like overall online catalog so we're going on a leaf hunt and then the last one on here is another one i ordered this literally because it's only a dollar because i'm so annoyed with these books um but this one is there was an old lady who swallowed a bat and if you are not familiar with this book series um I mean, there was like the original, there was an old lady who swallowed a fly, and it was not this. It was like a book from my childhood. It was really, really old. Let me see who the original author was. Oh, it says her name was Rose Bond, Rose Bone, and she was a lyricist. So was it a song before it was a book? Yeah, like all that's coming up on Google is like um, the, the nursery rhyme. And now that I think about it, oh my gosh, I have like this memory of being in elementary school and like my teacher singing like the 
like she was reading the book, but she was singing the words. Um, so I, I totally forgot about that until literally this moment. But anyways, so there's like the original, there was an old lady who swallowed a fly. And then since then, um, there have been these books that have been, um, like versions of that. And this one is, there was an old lady who swallowed a bat. They, there is one for pretty much every single holiday. My son has another one that we got last year that is, there was an old mermaid who swallowed a shark. And I wonder if this lady like bought the rights to the nursery rhyme. Um, because like these books are everywhere. So I, I'm, I wonder if she had to. Anyways, so yeah, that is it for this Scholastic book haul. My kids, well, I was gonna say my kids love reading, but my son loves reading and he loves being read to. My daughter does not like being read to. She will like, she'll pick up books and she'll go through the pages and like look at them. And she'll even like sit there and pretend she's reading. But if I sit there and try to read to her, she will snatch the book away from me. Um, she likes to do it herself. She has a quite a big personality, but that is it for this Scholastic book haul. I just thought I would share. I think it's fun to share these things. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.